fam, what is up? I am Meredith, welcome back to my channel. Today we have episode two of Meredith's Closet Cleanout. We are finishing going through this big bucket. We have tons and tons and tons of bathing suit cover-ups, dresses, wraps, sarongs, skirts, you name it, to go over bathing suits. And we need to go through them because we've got too many. My closet cleanout series is meant to alleviate the overwhelming amount of stuff that I have. I have way too much stuff. I'm losing space in my apartment and I live right outside of New York City. So you know that means my closet does not have that much space. So I will be going through every single item that I own, every single shoe that I own, every bathing suit, every t-shirt, every dress, every sweater, every pair of pants, every pair of shorts, you name it, we're going through it and we are saying no to things we do not love. But before we get started, a quick word from our sponsors. Today's video is sponsored by Barudani. They are an eco-friendly and sustainable and comfortable shoe brand that I cannot wait to introduce you guys to. Let's go ahead and unbox them. I am so excited that they sent these my way. If you guys see all of the shoes behind me, they rarely get worn. Why? Because I used to wear really high heels that were super uncomfortable. Nowadays, I'm not wearing anything on my feet unless they are 1000% comfortable and Burudani makes shoes that are meant to be worn for many hours on end, believe it or not. They have many different styles. I love the fact that they're sustainable and eco-friendly and they look good without compromising your comfort. They do have exceptional comfort by eliminating friction and pressure. You guys see how stretchy these are and how moldable they are? That means that they're not going to dig into your feet at all. And listen to just how efficient they are. They are waterproof. They're very easily portable because they can squish and smush and won't get ruined and they are slip on. So efficiency all around. One of my favorite facts about these shoes is that they are actually made out of plastic water bubbles. And because they are so soft to the touch, you would never think that, but guess what? They are. They are semi stretchy in the upper part of the shoe. They have a soft and flexible texture. They're definitely breathable and these can accommodate many foot shapes and they won't cause pain. There is a small pillow that's designed to prevent the foot from grinding and will not drop the heel. And can we please talk about this heel height? This is my type of heel height. This size heel is the best standing height and has a cushioning design. This shoe has an air cushioned insole, a micro arch design suitable for many users. What they try to do with their shoes is design them in a way that it's like a sports shoe. They are meant to be worn for many, many hours at time. You go to the office, you're on your feet all day. These will not hurt, cause you pain, have any friction. They are super comfortable, cushiony, breathable, so good. I'm gonna show you guys how I styled them. So I just threw on a pair of distressed wide leg, sort of cropped denim, a white tee, a really fun color bag, and my sling bag Burudani shoes. And you've got yourself a really cute, chic, comfortable outfit. You guys, I don't wear heels because they are not comfortable anymore. These I can walk around all day long. I can be on my feet. I can tell that they're super cushioned, very comfortable, and I cannot believe that they're eco-friendly and sustainable. I mean, you would never think. Even the packaging is recyclable. I just cannot get over how cute and comfortable they are. I am so excited to have these in my repertoire. They wanted to give you guys all 20% off. I will throw my discount code here on the screen and I will throw the link to shop in the description box below. Thank you so much Burudani for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are new here, I am Meredith. I'm a midsize and curvy content creator. I'm a size eight slash 10 and I create content for midsize women, for actually all women, to help inspire and empower them to love the skin they're in, to help them build their confidence and to help them dress their curves. It is very challenging to dress my curves and I know that a lot of you guys struggle with it too and I'm here to help you. I hope to be the representation for all of those mid-sized babes out there who do not feel represented whatsoever. I decided to create content because I felt underrepresented. I didn't see myself anywhere so I decided to take it upon myself to do just that. And quickly before we get started, I am 5'7 for reference. I've got a 36 inch bust. I've got a 29 inch waist. I've got a 44 inch hip. I wore a medium on the top, a medium on the bottom, and my pant size is an eight and sometimes a 10. 
Without further ado, let's hop into today's video, episode two of my closet cleanout series. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just get started with this little number on the top. There is a matching part. Oh, there it is. First thoughts, completely love the set. Love the wrap sarong skirt, love the top. Do I love the color? If you guys know me, you know my answer would be absolutely not. If I could just use my imagination for a second and believe that I am this bronzy, tanned goddess in the middle of the summer, yes, this would work, but it does not work right now because this color is not for me. So that leaves me to a very difficult decision. Do I keep it or do I sell it? <sighs> Starting off with a difficult decision. The color is so bad on me, I should just say get rid of. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear this because of the color. We're gonna sell so somebody else can love it just as much as me and it will probably look a little bit better on their skin complexion. Goodbye. All right, number two. This is a brand new dress from H&M. I am obsessed with it. It is a long sleeve cover up. The color is stunning. I already know that I'm gonna keep this because the tags are still on it. Actually, that does not indicate that I'm going to keep it because I do have some stuff in my closet currently that still has tags on it that has not been worn. So that's not really indicative if I'm actually gonna keep it. So these will be cut off ASAP. Rocky, come on. Okay, 1,000% keeping. Oh, there's another tie back here. Hold up, hold up. All right, that's a little better. Just ignore the tag for now. Let's see if we can hide that in the bathing suit. Okay, God, these are so annoying. Unbelievable beach cover up. I am so excited about this and also gonna be cutting this off. <sighs> if you guys can see through your clothing whatsoever, make sure the tags are cut off and no matter what kind of garment you have, make sure your hanging tags are cut off. That is so annoying. Amazing color, amazing fit, amazing design, you guys. I mean, look at this pattern and the intricacy of the lace. 1000% keeping. I just got back from the Cayman Islands on a work trip and I finally cut the tag off of this oversized white shirt. I'm pretty sure that this is not meant to be a beach cover up. I've had this in my closet for so long and I was like, I haven't worn it. So I'm gonna use it as a beach cover up. I think that it could not be more perfect. I'm definitely keeping this. It's super lightweight and airy and I think that it's a perfect beach cover up. Next up. Oh yeah, this is a fun one. This is from H&M and I think I got this last year. I love the color. I love the fit. I love the little style of it. Whoops. Super easy. I can also wear this as a breakfast dress. Those are the dresses that I just throw on while I'm away on vacation or just away in general. I throw them on to go to breakfast. Super fun style. Love the little ruffles. It probably doesn't need a good steam, but definitely keeping her. I have had this cover up for many years and it reminds me of the JLo dress. I've had this for so long. I wear it year after year. It does not go out of style. I love the little sort of caftan style, but with a cinched waist. This is sort of the shape of it without it being cinched. So you could wear it open as well, but I'm obsessed with this so much. I don't think I'll ever get rid of her. This by far is one of my favorite cover-ups that I have. We actually just used it in the shoot in the Cayman Islands on another model. It's just so fun to pull things from my own closet. Love the fringe, love the detail of it. It's like all string, so it is really delicate, but obsessed, she's a keeper. I will always and forever just have a simple piece of fabric. This is literally a piece of fabric that is made and sold as a sarong. You guys can do this with any piece of fabric you have. You could even probably make your own, but essentially you just tie it on the side and you've got yourself a sarong. Super cute, lightweight. The color goes with everything. Keep it. You guys are very well aware that I love bright colors. This oversized beach cover up is from Boohoo. It's a really pretty orange color. It's got two side slits on either side. It buttons up and down in the front. I'm definitely keeping her. She's kind of newish too. I think I've only like worn her once. I have had this kimono type style shirt 
forever, 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 forever. I used to wear this over a tank top and a pair of jeans as an outfit. That used to be my jam. I've had a lot of these in my lifetime. I haven't worn it probably in years. I haven't gotten rid of it because I think that it's so pretty. However, this is not, I don't think, how she's supposed to fit. I need a little bit more room around the hip area. I mean, and super cute to have it just be open like this. Am I going to wear her is the question because I have not worn her in so long, but she's so pretty. I don't know why I feel like I have some sort of sentimental attachment to this. Do we get rid of her because she really doesn't fit? Do we get rid of her because I haven't worn her in a really long time? It is so hard to get rid of things. Is somebody else going to love her a little bit more than me and actually wear? Probably. Should I sell it because of that? Probably. Should I sell it because I just don't love the way that it fits me around my hips? Probably. Oh, help me make this decision, you guys. Please help me make this decision. What am I gonna do? We're gonna put this in the, no, we're not doing maybes. We're not gonna do a maybe, we're gonna decide. <laughs> If I keep her, I have to bring her to Greece and I have to wear her. That's the only way that I'm going to keep it. Do we bring her to Greece and then sell her after? Or do we just get rid of because there's no space around the hip? Okay, we're gonna get rid of, we're gonna, we're just gonna do it. We're gonna do it, we're gonna pull the bandaid off. She is being sold. <laughs> but she's so pretty. We're selling. Next up is a brand new cover-up from Zara, and I have not worn her yet. I think I might have worn her in another piece of content that I shot, but we haven't worn her out in public yet. She is being brought to Greece with me. This is so fun. I'm so glad I found her. She's a keeper. So there's a matching bathing suit that I have to this, the same exact pattern. It's a one piece from Aerie. I ended up finding the matching cover up, I think on like eBay or some bizarre place. And I don't have the bathing suit in this bucket. And that doesn't make much sense because I would really only wear this with the matching bathing suit. So you're gonna see the other bathing suit in another episode once we go through the other swimsuits that I have. And then once we organize everything, these are going to be stored away together so they can be worn together. But for now, we're gonna keep her. One of my favorite Zara finds. I love interesting patterns. I think this is actually a size. Let me check. Oh, oh, I can't even take her off because that's how small she is on me. Okay, this is a size small. I remember that I got this during their sale. It was the only size I could find. And I didn't care that she was a small because I was going to use her not as like a shirt because I wouldn't use this as a shirt, but I would wear this as a beach cover up. This is so cute, you guys. It's a little tight through the arms, but it's super stretchy. So it doesn't bother me or cut off my cirque. I have to keep her because I'm still very much obsessed with her the pattern. The colors, the print, I would probably pair this with something cream underneath, okay? Be using our imaginations. Yes, love her. I actually think this might have been meant to be a dress for perhaps a smaller sized woman. This does actually button up all the way down. Yeah, I really think it might have been a dress on somebody. Aha! Imagine that. Imagine it being a dress on me. Yes, this fits so well. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, we could never wear her as a dress, but we can certainly wear her as a beach cover up. She's so cute. Don't come for me. I know a lot of y'all are not going to like this. That's exactly why I love it. <gasps> yes! Oh, this is my favorite. Forgot I had her too. I think this is, oh, okay. This is from ASOS. She's old, so probably won't be able to link. That's gonna be the problem with this classic clean out series is that I probably won't be able to link a lot of the stuff that I'm showing you guys. Probably thought the pants were gonna be a little bit too small, but not when you wear them as high as me. This set is gonna go down in history as one of the all time favorites. She is so stinking cute. The color pink, the stripes, the set. Are we kidding? Okay, she fits perfectly. Lots and lots of stretch around the waistband, which is why she's able to get up and over these hips because she's a little snug around the hip 
and booty area. Perfect length, perfect, 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 perfect. We're keeping her. Oh boy, this might not go very well. Where did I get these from? I don't even remember. This might've been like a Forever 21 situation. I haven't put these on in years. Oh, okay, well, they still seem to fit. How cute. Oh, I love these, which is why I haven't gotten rid of them. Ask me when the last time I wore them was. I have no idea. Couldn't tell you. It must have been years and years and years ago. So do we keep her? She is so uncomfortable in this area, y'all. Oh my word. You guys know that I only do four inch inseams or longer. She's a booty short for sure, but I guess that's okay when you're wearing a bathing suit. But I mean, I'm gonna have to like mega babe my thighs up like crazy to be able to walk without chafing. <sighs> Am I really going to wear these? Am I really going to wear these? Am I really gonna wear these? Are you gonna wear these? Guys, help me make my decision. I think somebody else is going to love these and use them unlike me. And for that, oh my God, I cannot believe I'm doing this. And for that, we're gonna sew. This is so hard. This series is going to really be a struggle for me. All right, next up, probably gonna get rid of this because it's a black sarong. Am I ever going to wear a black sarong? Probably not. When was the last time I wore this? No idea, but she's a classic. And in the event that I need to wear her for something, but I don't have a lot of black. Oh, we're just gonna keep her just in case okay this dress i got i remember exactly where i was i know that this is from h&m i got this with an old friend of mine at the holyoke mall in massachusetts when i was probably in college she was like five dollars so i had to get her and i think she's still going to be one of my favorites of all time what she is so cute. I mean, I really should wear this more often than I do. This is so cute. The coloring, you guys, the cut, the fact that she's so long on me, it's like the perfect beach cover up. We need to wear her more. We're gonna wear her this season because I'm pretty sure I didn't wear her for the last couple, but we're gonna put her back into rotation because she deserves it. This is kind of a crazy story. So this cover up, I took I took her to the tailor recently to get her button fixed. And I'm trying to figure out why the hell I spent money on that because this is so stupid. I mean, really? Am I really gonna wear this without anything on underneath it? Absolutely not. Why did I waste my money getting the hole fixed for the button? No clue. I love the crinkliness of the fabric. I love the design of this, but what the hell was I thinking? Truly, are we, we're not gonna, what? This, without something on underneath? Absolutely not. Even if I had a pair of shorts on, it would look dumb on me. We're getting rid of. I can't believe I just spent money on the tailor. Oh, it's a good reminder to make sure you try the things on before you take them to the tailor, not just because they've been in your to-do pile for probably what feels like a couple of years. She was just in a bag of things to take to the tailor and I finally just took her to the tailor because I was getting done. That was a waste of money. So, okay, what do we have here? I think this might have been a TJ Maxx beach cover up. This is in a size extra small, which is why I always try to encourage you guys to try things on, even if the number on the tag does not correlate to the number that you have in your brain that you'll wear, okay? Extra small. I'm not an extra small. I'm usually a medium or a large, okay? This fits me perfectly. It's an extra small and you would have never thought, but when I looked at it on the hanger, I was like, huh, that seems like it might fit me. And it did, and I'm so glad I tried it on and I'm so glad I have it in my repertoire. She's a keeper. One of my friends actually designed this. It's so cute, you guys, and it could not fit me better. Let me just tie this because this is a little bit long for me. It's adjustable on the sides here. I love the pattern and the print. I mean, look at that. She's super stretchy. It's the perfect beach cover up. I'm definitely gonna keep her, not only because I love her, but because my friend designed it too. I mean, I also feel like this should be hanging in my closet because I can wear this to an event as a dress or something. I feel like she's super versatile. Do I keep her with my swim or put her into my closet and actually wear her? Decisions. All right, getting down to the last couple guys. This is a pashmina, which I think I've used as 
of each cover up. I think I'm gonna give this to my mom since we already have a white cover up in the keep pile already. I think I'm gonna give this to my mom. I think she'll love it. And I think it will be very useful. Mom pile. Okay. Last two are my faves. Hot and delicious. I have no idea what brand that is. I feel like this might have been a Forever 21. I don't remember where I got this from. It is the brand Hot and Delicious. So wherever that brand is carried, that's where I got it from. Maybe? No. What? Uh would I have gotten it from like a TJ Maxx? I used to shop at TJ Maxx all the time. I rarely ever shop there anymore. Okay. She is a metal beach cover up. Pretty uncomfortable, not gonna lie. Well, I guess it was uncomfortable getting it on. It's not so uncomfortable once it's on. It's a little itchy. Oh no, I really wanted to still love this. I haven't worn this in so long. I think because I don't know why. Oh, is it pulling down here too a little bit? That's an easy fix. She's a little weathered, probably because she's been thrown about in the bin for so many years. She's pulling a little bit. I see some loose things that I could definitely fix just by pulling it out, I think. Now that I have her on, I don't know, you guys. I'm actually on the fence, which I didn't think that I would be because she has always been a favorite of mine. I also feel like this is a little bit too high. Why don't we just take her out? It's a little better. Yeah. Hmm. On the fence, which is crazy. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? If I sell this, that's going to be crazy for me because I'm obsessed. But I haven't reached for her in a long time. Mm, okay. You know what we're going to do? We're going to try the next one on. We're going to think about this. We're going to have this in the back of our head while we try the next one on. Ah! You know what? I should just get rid of her because when I'm in my bathing suit, I just really want to be comfortable and not uncomfortable. Do we think somebody else will love this more than me? Perhaps. We're going to just put this on the side and we're going to try our last one on. This is a favorite. I don't shop at Revolve very often because they are super expensive. This little number is from Revolve. And I'm pretty sure I got her on sale, which is the only reason why I bought her. I included this in one of my roundups around the holiday time, which I think I actually tried it on for you guys. So I did buy this in the middle of the winter. Yes, I did. No shame. No shame in my game. Okay, let me just tie her up. Ugh. This is just like a dream of a beach cover up. And I had somebody message me like, that doesn't cover you up. Well, you know what? That doesn't matter. <laughs> what? It doesn't matter that I'm not covered up because she's not meant to cover up my body. She is meant to be the flyest over the bathing suit beach dress you could ever possibly imagine. And that's what I'm gonna wear her as. Not a cover up, okay? We don't cover up this body, not anymore. But in all seriousness, she is so gorgeous. I have to remember to take her to Greece with me because she is definitely going to be worn. I am staring at this in the mirror behind the camera. I feel so pretty in this, you guys. This is so amazing. 1,050% keeping, for sure. All right, now that I have this amazing number on, we're actually making the decision pretty easily to get rid of. We're gonna sell this to somebody who will wear it more than me and who will love it more than me. And now that I have this on, I feel like I should re-go through that pile. Like, do I really wanna keep this one? Yes, we're not, okay. The decisions have been made, we're sticking with it. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for coming along with me today for episode number dose of my Classic Clean Out series. We have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen keeps. One, two, three, four, five, six, and six cells. Okay, so not so bad. I should tell you guys that this box is stuff that I have used or put back recently within the last year or so. The other boxes of my swim, those are where we're gonna get rid of the most stuff. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me today for episode numero dos of Meredith's Classic Cleanout series. Once we get into the other stuff, we're definitely gonna be getting rid of a lot more. As always, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell to get notification for every time I upload a new video. And if you feel so inclined, you guys can hit that super thanks and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.